Luigi. She man Luigi and uh, let's go. We'll be rocking that uh, sandwich. Joining me here on the microphone. It's a uh, mad look. rush. How's it going, uh, Onski? How you doing? How you doing? Okay, so this is this is live. This We're is live. live. We're back here in winter semis. We've so got Kyoshke and uh, Prince. Team Japan bringing the heat down on uh, She Man and Let's Go. I don't know, this is gonna, this gonna be closer than you expect. I mean, three stocks, I think adds a lot more uh, variance. Oh, totally. I mean, last time that She Man and Prince were at a tournament, She Man beat Prince. That's true, also. So that's gotta be floating around in, in this guy's head. The salt, at least, must still stir. Wow. It looks uh, looks pretty about well would have been even. She went a little bit short on that edge on that um, ledge grab. Yeah, definitely a lot of respect. I mean, Luigi had definitely has the ability to just get back to that ledge, uncanny ability to get back there. Hard to ledge guard too. Catches Prince with up smash there. Let's go, just firing it off. No real target in sight. And uh, here goes Andy. He's gonna steal that uh, that stock that the let's go into tanking. Nice up there. Get out of jail for free. I thought let's go was gonna come down with a dare, but ooh, wow. She man able to just clip him barely. Okay, so we're down to two of one. Whoa. I mean, oh, just barely landed on that top butt. He wanted another up there. It's an uphill battle here. Woo! Dang. Oh, the, the parried up B. Parried up To the other Luigi up being. I mean, this is definitely the team to beat. No question about it. <laughs> just get throwing up the, the V. Looking to do it to him two times in a row. So, I wonder if She Man Let's Go will counter pick here. We saw that last set go all Dreamland, despite the amount of stages available. Right. I would I would think that that would be in their advantage to play somewhere else. I mean, if nothing else, you got to assume that Kyoshi and Prince haven't had a lot of experience playing on Battlefield or you know, these other stages, but then again, that could be just wrong. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know, there's definitely not a, a Japanese 19XX version with these stages available. I don't know if there's some other ROM floating around there in Japan where they have access to these stages in multiplayer. I don't think so, and if they do, it's got to be very limited. Or I would assume it's very limited. Wow. Prince, able to just snatch Let's Go on the side plat. Oh, good, good poke by Shima to open up the ledge for uh, Let's Go, but he's still not able to get back. No, I actually kind of hurt him. Wow. Unnecessary uh, edge guard there, but it will uh, will do the job. Right now, let's go with on his last stock. This is such a dangerous position to be in, unless she man really starts tanking. That's. I, mean, I think that's another thing about three stock. You never, even when you're on your last stock, you never feel that far behind. Yeah. Uh, but he gets, he gets turned around, and Samus can't turn around without charge shotting to grab the ledge. You know what I didn't think about is that this this whole three stock thing is really in the Japanese player's favor. I mean, this is their, their default mode, Def their default. Uh, well, they, they traditionally always played four stock for singles. I don't know about doubles. I know doubles I thought never it was always really three stock. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it seems like Japan, uh, in Japan, doubles events never really caught on. I've been to like two or three Japanese tournaments and there was never a doubles event. Um, and I know they used to play Team Attack off 
for doubles when they did play doubles, just you know, messing around. Just because um, the team attack offers, it helps the lag a little bit. Yeah. But. Why well, imagine there's no OC consoles over there? Yeah. I mean, so nice to just be able to show up to a tournament like this and just have the kind of gear that we have. Not have to worry about bringing consoles, etc. Everything's provided for you. Sort of like one of the nicer things that, about a big tournament like Genesis. Yeah, yeah. Protagonist's set of consoles he brought um, provided for uh, overclock consoles. What am I saying? Or I it's I, OCs. I was distracted here by this. Wow. Prince quickly losing two stocks. Wow. <laughs> you were getting grabbed <laughs> one way or another. This is an interesting turn of events here. Obviously, the three stock I mean, such a huge momentum shift to happen just like in the blink of an eye. As we see here, She Man, Prince. Down to the last stocks, really a battle of attrition here to see who's going to get killed next. Ooh, wow. Let's go. Trying to find the ledge, but just nothing coming. Another share stock. Ooh, All nice. evens. Nice up there. Okay. Ooh, it's going to make it a 2v1. For Prince to pull off. Man, this is still such a scary position to be in if you're either one of these North American players. Prince's punish game, legendary. Hey, you can't play too scared and just let uh, Yoshi here just get, gain a foot in and then yeah, totally. wait for an open. I mean, you both both of you guys have projectiles. You've got to be able to utilize it in some capacity. Oh, there it is. I mean, smart option. I mean, obviously, you have to cover both sides of, of the recovery. One guy's got to go high. One guy's got to go low. Really, let's go. Knew that the high position was coming. Totally cut off that option and angle. Smart maneuver. And that's going to be the first victory for uh, for our boys over here. Still 2-1. So she man and uh, let's go. Got to take this next game. Force a game five. Otherwise, it's going to be Prince Kiyosuke going on to winner's finals against Freehan and Nintendo. A little bit of a conservative opening here. Both sides understanding what's at stake and feeling each other out. I think, uh, I think for characters here, I think the green team probably has an advantage. I mean, for sure. Uh, I think Yoshi's just so much better at forcing his way in when he needs to get across the stage and help his partner than Samus. Oh, totally. Samus would much, much rather just sit back as much as possible. If they continue to play it like two 1v1s, it's definitely like Japan's game to win. But where they've found a lot of success is, is just kind of getting in there and messing up the workflow. Um, and not allowing Yoshi to, to really get off and to get the punishing game going, to get a lot of shield pressure going. Um, I'm definitely seeing she -Man struggle to keep up with Kyoshke's uh, Luigi. Just, just a testament to how good Kyoshke is with the, with the cast of characters. Just like Samus. Samus and Yoshi. A lot harder to get in on that matchup. Yeah. I think that's where Samus struggles the most in doubles is when you need to force your way in to save your teammate or capitalize on something. Totally. It's just, just hard. She doesn't have a lot of moves. Yeah, her recovery game is also limited, so when she's out there struggling, it's hard to be able to put herself in a position to come back. And yeah, the one yeah. benefit she has is she can install a little bit with the bombs, so maybe to give your teammate time to open up that ledge for you to come back. But She floats. Uh -huh. she, she's a floater. She is a floater. She is a floater. That would be definitely a godsend in this matchup. So, wow. uh, Blue Team here able to take advantage of a couple situations where Prince put himself in to, without a double jump. Oh, no. And oh, Andy Andy took that stock while Let's Go was, uh, was still recovering, and now it's a clear 2v1. I've seen uh, crazier 2v1s happen. So. I, yeah, definitely. Definitely have. I mean... Having having that up B in your back pocket is definitely something that that's gonna be on the opponent's mind, and it's already not a JV, so no 
no, no shame, no pressure. Really, it's such a tall task to separate these two players, and that's gonna do it. Three-one goes the uh, the winner semifinals match, and that will propel Princeton. Co